In this video, we're going to show you how to designate for laser-guided weapon using MetaVR's Versig and BSI's MACE version 2013 R3. The friendly forces have taken fire from the north. Intelligence indicates that the enemy is massing at the top of the nearby hill. The JTAC has two A-10s on station overhead with GBU-12s, and the ground forces commander has authorized him to engage the enemy while they're all in one place. To begin, determine if the JTAC wants to get up on a rooftop to laser the target. If he does, right-click on the JTAC's entity and select Roof Clamping. This will place him on the top of any building he moves towards. Here, however, the JTAC has a clear line of sight to the enemy from the corner of the collot. Click play to start the mission. Move the JTAC in position with the sticks on the gamepad. The left controls movement and the right controls the look axis. Press button 4 to change weapons until you select the laser rangefinder. Pull the left trigger to activate the zoom. You can zoom out by pressing the left bumper. Pull the right trigger to fire the laser rangefinder to obtain the range and bearing to the target. The target is 061 and 530 meters away. Use the D-pad up and down buttons to stand, kneel, or go prone. On mace, open the 9-line form found under the Entity Controls tab. Select the A-10s from the drop-down menu. Click on the Target button and select the enemy positions for both aircraft. Under Ordnance, select GBU-12. Select a final heading of 015 and a level attack with a final leg distance of 3 nautical miles. We are going to have one bomb per aircraft. Select zero asset spacing and push when ready, since we need the bombs right away. We already have an altitude of 10,000 feet for ingress and egress. Select AGL as the surrounding terrain is 6,000 feet high. Make certain the PRFs match both the mark and the aircraft. In this example, it is 1111. Lastly, we determine the egress. Put in a heading of 270 and 1 nautical mile for the egress to establish an orbit over the village. Take note of the asterisks in the form. These are the entries that will directly affect the aircraft. The entries without asterisks are available for instructor feedback and note taking. As you can see, I left them blank. Check the form one last time and click Attack Without IP. You'll notice the waypoints of the A-10 are now lined up for the attack. Select the laser designator by pressing button 4. When the aircraft are on their final heading, clear them hot. After the bombs are off the rails, you can begin lasing the target. The target will be destroyed and the A-10s will set up in a wheel over the village awaiting the next tasking.